Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to World Discovery. This is part 16 of our World Showcase Epcot inspired build here in Planet Coaster. Um, so before we get into today's episode, as always, if you go on to enjoy this, please do give us a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to chat, jump on to the Twitter or Discord, links are down below in the description. And also we now have a Patreon page, so if you fancy helping out the channel, please do have a look at that, links down below. So today we are heading back into France and we are actually pretty much finishing this off by the end of today's video. Uh, now I did allude to it in the last episode, and the, the plan was to have a quick go at trying to fit this hyper jump inside the Eiffel Tower. Now I spent quite a bit of time on this uh, and I've put a little bit of time lapse in um, showing you my attempts. I tried to do it underground. Uh, which fits, but the path in and the base of the ride look awful, so we get rid of that. I try and do it um, sort of um, path level, um, but then it's too high at the top and the structure's a bit too thin. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's a bit of a mess to be honest. So in the end, I give it up as a bad job and I decide to put something else in. Um, but I did really like the idea of it. and. and and it does suit the ride and the area so well, but I just couldn't get it to fit. So, um, apologies, but thank you for the suggestion. And whoever it was in the comment, thank you ever so much. Um, I, I've tried, like I say, for a while, <laughs> but there's there's no way I can do it and do it well. I mean, I could have bodged it together where there's a bit of clipping on the ride, but I really didn't want to do that. So, so yeah, apologies, um, but we are not going ahead with the hyper jump inside the Eiffel Tower. But we do put a ride in there eventually. And then to, sort of towards, well, the main bulk of today's episode is finishing off the area. So we put in one more building, uh, which finishes off our kind of main street. Um, and then we just put in some little finishing touches really everywhere. Um, so this little jump was where I was like, right, I'm getting rid of that. So I quit out, loaded back up and started again. Um, but then we did, this doesn't last very long either. Um, so yeah, that's what I was saying. So we put the last finishing touches in the area. Um, we put the new um, shop in. Now, I say shop. It's At the moment, it's not a usable shop, but it is going to be a toy shop. Um, and it's just sort of just the, the building that's going to be next to the sandwich baguette shop that we put in the last episode. Um, so, yeah, just caps off that street of the three buildings with a corner building of, like I say, a toy shop. And that's what's going to just finish up um, the France area. Um, not not many buildings in here. Like I said, it was very, it's always was planned to be quite a small area. Um, and then we'll move on to one more country. Um, following round before we get to China. Um, so what that middle country is going to be, probably a very similar size to this one. Um, I want your guys' suggestions, as always. So let me know what you think would look good. Um next between france and china because we've only really got like i say enough space for one more um country and I've, all the way through we've said we want china opposite the main entrance and uh, that's going to be quite a big pavilion and we're going to have quite a lot of um eye-catching structures in that one so yeah let me know what you think um i don't want it to be a country where we need sort of an eiffel tower-esque feature i don't want there to be a massive structure in this one as I want there to be a little bit of low level buildings between France and China because China's going to take some quite big um, buildings and mountains and stuff is it, my initial plan for it anyway um, so yeah drop down below let me know what you think uh, and we'll start building that country in the next episode um, here back to the footage today I was trying a few rides um, I did want the chair swing um, I think it suits quite well however as you can see well we might have just seen uh, there was clipping from the ride uh, into the supports of the Eiffel Tower. So that had to go as well. So we think, I'll try and f what else can fit in here. Uh, and in the end, we settle with this one, the Montilion. Uh, now I know this isn't specifically French uh, as a ride or a name, uh, but we can always name it something else. So yeah, name suggestions, drop those down below. Um, but yeah, I think it suits relatively well. I mean, the footprint fits. I wanted, to be, if, if we couldn't go as the big high tower, we needed something a bit lower down. Um, so this is what we went with in the end. Um, so I needed a, a ride in the area, in the in the in in each country. It needs to be at least, at least one ride. And this is the one we've gone for for France. Um, so yeah, like I say, let me know if you've got any name suggestions. Uh, and we can always do the naming and all that kind of good stuff next time. Um, and here's one question I want to 
I want you guys to let me know. Now, we've got a small carousel in the America area. I think we call it Cleveland Carousel or something like that. Now, because we've got the small carousel, is it acceptable to use the grand carousel in this park as well? I'm thinking maybe for the English um, sort of UK area, we could use the, the grand carousel. Um, but I don't know, I want your guys' opinions. Is, is it a bit overkill having both? Or do you think it's acceptable? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Because um, I've been toying with the idea of that. I do kind of want to use it. Um, but I don't want to swap the one in America. Because we made sort of a custom roof. And that took quite a bit of time to make the carousel over there. Like I said, it was a lot of custom roofing and, and parts. So I don't really want to get rid of that to swap it out. But yeah, is it acceptable? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, I don't know if you just caught quickly what we're doing here. We're just putting in some area music, some speakers. I'm just playing the Planko French theme that was added with World uh, World Fair. Um, what one thing I do think I don't I can't remember if we have actually added speakers around Mexico. So that's something we'll probably go back at some point and just double check because we had we definitely added music around America. Um, France has now got music, but yeah, I can't remember if we did around around Mexico. So I'll, I'll go back and have a look. Um, so I do want there to be that thread running through this park, um, which is what we mentioned right back at the beginning. Uh, all those, all the well months back, it will be now. Um, yeah, the thread of the music, the lamp posts, and the planting, are the, are the sort of threads that we want to run through. Um, so here, right, we're jumping into a new build now. Um, it's nothing spectacular. I just wanted something to cap off this end, uh, and a, sort of a weird shaped corner building is what I went with, utilising a lot of this sort of shop front style. Um, wall set at the bottom just as the base uh, and that's like i say where the inspiration for it to become a shop uh, and more specifically a uh, toy shop is where that came from um like i say at the moment it isn't usable we don't have an interior we don't have a door we don't have anything um we just put um we put some tiny props in the windows and um, one thing i am going to do at some point as you'll probably see in a minute we do put some random props in the windows well i say a minute it'll be later on in the video um, but there's so much stuff now that's available on the Theme Makers Toolkit, um, like board games and t-shirts and, and actual toys and merchandise. Um, so I just need to download some of that stuff and swap it out. And that's something we'll probably do as one big episode at some point, is go on the Theme Makers Toolkit, literally go through everything on there, um, and choose some bits that we think might fit quite well in the park. And we'll probably do that as one specific Theme Maker Toolkit episode um, at some point. I don't know when that'll be, but that, that is something we will do. Uh, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm holding off at the moment is because there's still a few issues with it. Uh, and I know it's still causing some lag and um, a lot of slowdowns. And, and I think some people have been experiencing crashes with certain elements put in the park. So I want to play an ear on the side of caution at the moment. And that's why I'm not putting too many Theme Makers assets in this park in fact i think at the moment there's one in there which is the globe by um oh was it dead eyed duck apologies i'm so bad at remembering who names and things i'm so sorry um but yeah whoever made the the animated globe that we've got it was dead eyed duck i'm pretty sure um that we have above our fountain in the entrance plaza that currently is the only one in this game the only asset that I think that I can remember that we've put in so um, we're going to play it safe and not go too mental for the time being um, so yeah right back to this build very simple stuff you can see it's nothing too spectacular I'm um, trying to keep it quite classical and quite pretty that's why we've got the flower box and that kind of stuff we do add a little bit of planting around the front of it as well in a few minutes just to get rid of the awkward pathing um, and like I said back down the line it just become a toy shop um, the name we went for um, again, he's open to suggestions, um, but I, I I Google imaged French toy shops, and the name that I went for was just one that popped up. Um, from what I remember, it was um, Le Joker de Paris, I think, which I don't know what that means. I'm guessing joke, Paris joke shop. I'm not sure. I, I've never done French, so I have no idea. If someone who is French could let me know. I know there's some people who are out there who are French. So let me know in the comments. So, yeah, what does it mean? Um, and if you can think of anything a bit more fitting, um, yeah, let me know. We're not going specifically Planko 
um, words and names in this park. So it could be anything, like literally anything real, real world. Um, so yeah, any French toy shop names you can think of or puns or anything like that, let me know. And I'm, I'll be happy to change it <laughs> because it was the first thing I could find, which sounded relatively French. Um, but yeah, you see in a minute, we do put a sign up there. Um, but yeah, that's basically where we get to. Um, so like I said, a little bit of planting out the front. I had a bit of trouble with this. I wanted it to fit the shape of the path, but it's the, the path in the game is so unique. The, the shapes are just so random, and the planting shapes are random. And it, it, it almost fit here, but then I had an issue with that little gap, and it was like it was coming a bit of a farce. So we, we change it up in the end and, and make it a bit more curved. It, it turns out alright. Um, we'll probably put one at the other side as well to give it a bit of, um, not symbolism, what the word I'm looking for. Um, symmetricality is the word we're going for. Because um, I only put the one on this side uh, now. Um, but yeah, once we figure out what we're going to do in that transition, that's when we'll look at the other side of this building. Um, but mainly we need to decide what country we're going to do first. Uh, and that's why I'm holding off. Because um, it's going to be pretty much straight into the next country from this um, this angle. Um, you'll probably see, I might have already put it in, in the video, if not, there's a, a little path where I've changed the texture just up there. You can just see in the corners to the right. Uh, and that is going to literally be the transition from French, friend, blah, 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 France <laughs> into the next country. So it's very, very close and that's why it needs to be something either similar so the buildings will tie in or something completely different to contrast. Um, so do we just go like Moroccan or something like that where we go full on... Um, full on a different different style um, I don't know but like I said it's completely up to you guys let me know what you think uh, and then we'll figure that out down the line in the next episode as we start um, yeah start doing the next country um, but it's slowly coming together now this park I mean uh, I want we're almost at the halfway mark of the 10 brand 10 brands 10 countries uh, which I'm just trying to scramble around to find my notes just to double check <laughs> the right ones we've got but um i can't find it so yeah you'll just have to try and remember the brands and the, the the 10 countries that are in this part well in this um world's fair pack which is the 10 that we're doing first uh, as i mentioned at the beginning um down the line it, we it, we may end up tackling some more if we've got space um we could always put some behind like there's a lot of space behind france so there's potential other stuff we could do and other expansions um, but initially, the, the, I want to just get the 10 in-game brands in this park. And I think it will work out really nicely, uh, the way we're spacing it. It's so like I say, China is going to be central. Uh, and by that point, there'll have been America, uh, Mexico, France, one other country, uh, and then China. So that sort of is the, is the five of this side of the park. Um, so yeah, it's going to work out quite nice. Um, and yeah, it, it's primitively mapped out to the best I can um, but obviously all this stuff is all open to change and, and swapping around anyway and that's the genius of this stuff I don't want to plan too much because um, it's all about having fun and getting in there and like a lot of the time I don't know what I'm going to build until I get in and start playing um, I don't I don't often plan much which is probably to my detriment but um, I quite like to just try a few bits and pieces and, and then come up with an inspiration from that like we did with this build like it, it didn't start out as a toy shop it started out as just a building and then it became a toy shop throughout the build so um yeah that's generally how i'm gonna try and approach this game in this park um but like i said before one i do want to put in um, a lot more buildings um because these these parks are all about the builds the buildings and the environments to make you to make you immersed into that specific country uh, and that's what we're going to carry on um, so like I did allude to a minute ago, these window displays, like I said, very, very quickly thrown in here just to have something in them for now. Um, but we will fill those with actual shop merchandise pieces um, a bit later on, um, once we get a bit more on the, on the Theme Maker's Toolkit. Um, I haven't actually checked it out for a good few weeks. Uh, I, I was daily, when it, first, when it first launched, I was checking it every single day to see all the new bits and pieces. So... Um, I think I might do another sort of overview of the Theme Makers Toolkit video at some point. Um, because like I said, I haven't been on it for God knows how long. Um, and I think it'd be good to just have a look and together we can have a look through and see if there's any pieces and, and see if they can go in this park. So that's something we might do in a few weeks in the new year. Um, but yeah, for now it's just how it is. 
Uh, right, so on to this building. So I did mention it a few times uh, in the last couple of episodes. This is going to become a restaurant. Um, so using the in-game restaurant piece, so the, the black box, like hotels that you just select restaurant and use your imagination. Um, in terms of the windows, um, you'll see in a few minutes we have a bit of a faff around with these. Um, my initial plan, well, we, we set up with using billboards rather than doing an actual in-game interior. Um, because I wanted to disguise the fact that those boxes are in there. And even from certain angles, you can still see it from the from the edge. So we thought, well, so what I decided is um, billboards. So initially we did, uh, there'll be some little gaps here where I'm searching images to try and find some, some interior. So yeah, ignore the little gaps. Um, but yeah, at first we put in some random images and I try and move them around and they look a bit zoomed in. Uh, and then the actual perspective of it is you're moving up and down the path is a bit dodgy, it looks very flat. So I've came up, I've come up with a technique which I'm sure other people have done. I'm not claiming this is my own, but it worked for me. Uh, and it's kind of similar technique that you find in the Haunted Mansion. Now this is going to sound so stupid, but I'm, I'm just going to talk about it for a few minutes. So there is this kind of, in the Haunted Mansion, there is the, the, the busts that kind of watch you. As you walk, as you sort of ride or walk past them, depending on what version you're on, uh, and it uses this sort of con, to have a concave or convex. I can't remember which point, which way round it is, but a kind of um, this kind of angled image. So, to the the eye, sees it as an, an optical illusion that it's got more depth than it actually has. So that's what we have done here, very very primitively, by using two billboards in a kind of triangle position. Um, the effect is not amazing, I'll be honest, it's not the sort of world-class standard. However, from a distance, it looks like there is depth to it, and that's what I was going for. Um, this is not going to be a park, we're going to be walking around and going in these buildings. Um, so, so yeah, it, 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 it does the job, and I think it's turned out quite nicely, to be honest. Uh, and I'm quite happy with the outcome. Um, so that's about it for today's well, that's it for today's time lapse. Um, we've got a few little slow mo shots now, just looking around the complete area, um, showing off the new build and showing off the new ride. Um, so all in all, like I said, France is pretty much done. Um, as with Mexico, there's a few odd little bits and pieces we need to go back and finish up at some point. Um, but in terms of the main bulk of the country, it's done, it's in, and we can move on to the next one. So please do let me know your suggestions for names of this building for the toy shop. Um, names for the um, actual ride, the Monte Leon. Let me know if you come up with any suggestions for that. And also if you've got any ideas uh, which the next country should be between here, France and China, do let me know. It's going to be, like I say, a very similar sized country. Um, so bear that in mind. Uh, when you come up with your suggestions but anyway that is going to do us for today thank you ever so much for watching if you've enjoyed this um, then give us a like down below it really does help us out um, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content fancy a chat to me or anyone else um, drop down in the comments below go on the twitter or head over to our discord server and um, we've still got the giveaway for a planet coaster dlc of your choice running until i believe it's the fourth or fifth of january uh, information is down below on that one if you want to um, enter it's completely free to enter um, through a gleam.io kind of thing so yeah get your entries in uh, and you could win a dlc of your choice for planet coaster um, and also recently we have launched on patreon so if you do fancy giving us a hand a little helping hand if you can afford a couple of quid a month um, please do jump on there check it out and if you can afford then please do help us uh, be very much appreciative um, but anyway guys that is it for today thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode and the next video thank you guys bye